now in this video we will be learning about the what are the variables okay so first of all let me tell you about the what are the topics which we will be covering in this particular video so let me just open up the terminal and i will write all those topics which we will be covering this particular video so first of all we will cover variables what are the variables then user defined variables and next environment variables okay so these are the topics which we will be covering in this particular video so first of all let me start with the variables okay what are the variables okay but before that let me first open up my vs code actually i have already done it here you can see now you have to just uh, uh, create one file that is 02 variables dot sh okay so we will use dot sh extension for creation of file and i hope you have already installed this vs code uh, actually in our previous video we have covered this part of installation so now what we have to do uh, you have to just uh, enter this shebang and then you have to just uh, you are good to go you can write any command here also like you uh, variables you can write here variables okay just uh, save it and here is the run button if you run it maybe it will run yeah it's working fine okay so now what we can do uh, let me tell you about first uh, variables what are the variables okay so variables is nothing but uh, just like a container okay container which will hold some values okay so variable is nothing but just like a container which will hold some kind of value it may be in teaser it may be a string it can be your uh, uh, any kind of uh, value like could be a decimal value or character value okay so these are the variables okay so what happens actually uh, like internally what are the what things happen okay if you are coming from the c++ background uh, so you might be aware of those things like let me tell you all this uh, i will open up the paint so that will be easy to understand for you okay so I will just create a block here okay so what happens if you create a variable suppose you create a variable a equal to 10 okay so at that time what will happen a block will be created in a memory and uh, some address will be given to that okay now you will tell ask me what are the address so address is nothing but uh, which is used to access those variables okay if you are aware of c++ or python then you might be aware of it but right now just uh, keep in mind that uh, variables are stored at one particular address so it can be any address i will just uh, enter like it uh, it, uh, uh, it what we can say address uh, is in the form of hexadecimal so you can write anything like hexadecimal is like a to f a one to nine anything you can like this uh, okay so you can think like this is the address and this will be the value you can suppose like it will be 10 and the name of the variable will be a okay so this is the case happens internally if you create a variable in any operating system okay so now we will start with the basic one like we will create some variables and we will also learn about some kind of rules which we follow uh, while creating the variables in our uh, shell okay or bash scripting you can say so here what we will do uh, i will just uh, uh, create some variables like i will create name equal to ayush okay you can like right like this and uh, then what you will need to do you can also give like age equal to 20 you can say and now we are good to go right now we will just print those uh, variables so how you can print using dollar and the name of the variable you can easily print the variables okay so just save these variables and i will run up run this variable okay so here you can see the variable the first line and the second my name is printed 
okay so but uh, before moving forward let me tell you about uh, some of the rules which we follow while creating the variables okay so there are some interesting thing if you do like this add a space so at that time your shell thinks like it's kind of a command so there should be no any spaces in your variable name in shell scripting especially or bash scripting so if you will do so it will say command not form that you can see so you don't have to give any kind of a space uh, in your variable name okay i hope uh, it's clear to you guys uh, let me just uh, create uh, some another variable like pointer i will create some kind of 9.9 uh, i will give it a time okay it's fine so here i will add echo my pointer is like this maybe a uh, string concatenation will happen there pointer let me just save and i will again run this script so here you can see my pointer is this plus okay if i will not give it it doesn't uh, effect i think okay so here you can see my pointer is 9.89 so in this way you can uh, enter the variables uh, and enter the values assign the value to the variables so, so these are basically the user defined variables okay echo you have to just here to user defined variables okay so this is the okay so what if i want to uh, print all those in a same line like echo name and echo a is also i want okay let's do it i will remove this line save it okay here you can see the ayush 20 okay so these are the user defined variables okay i hope it is clear to you what are the variables now moving forward uh, we will learn about the sum of uh, so what we can say environment variables okay so i will just do a quick google search for you guys and i will search for the user uh, not user environment variables okay so environment will write that much big smelling environment variables and shell scripting and shell scripting yeah here we got it okay so here you can see uh, there are many blocks uh, for uh, on gigs for gigs or digital ocean okay so uh, let me open this one gigs for gigs so it's a good website to learn more things okay so here you can see it's loading just wait for some time okay so here you can see what are the environment variables so environment variables, system defined variables you can see it is given by the shell to use for you guys okay so here you can see the scope of an environment variable and all those things uh, i will tell you about this scope and all those in the next video okay right now just uh, learn about the environment variables okay so here you can see the name is one of the environment variables both over and global in the same way okay let me just uh, this so here you can see okay name equal to value okay i will use some different website let me use digital ocean not this one this one looks good or I will just do list here because I want the list of the environment variables and shell script we use so here you can see the uh, not windows I want Linux okay here you can see the eco path display the path environment variables okay so uh, let me just use some variables here like uh, i remember some variables like echo shell 
if you will use shell and in one variables um, keep in mind like it is written always in the capital letter and here i will just add some text like uh, first environment variable okay and just uh, save it and run it and here you will see the bin bash it gives you the name uh, like shell which shell you are using right now okay if you will do date also it will give you the information about date okay so just save it and run it from here and here you can see the okay it's not displaying with a date why i don't know okay d a t e it should okay just run this okay i think date is not one environment variable let me just quick uh, search for it date environment variable linux okay so here you can see the uh, current environment variables so there are many articles so you can read uh, here like uh, when you do we can do like this also uh, let me just copy and i will paste it here now and i will use here now okay just save it and click uh, on run and here you can see the current date and time all those things <coughs> okay so in this way you can use uh, variables you can assign values and i hope you got to learn about this uh, user defined variables as well as environment variables and uh, in the next video also i will tell you some more environment variables okay so i hope you like this particular video guys and thank you thank you for watching and if you have any queries then you can ask in the comment section and for these all the source code i will be posting on my github repository i will give the link in the description okay so thank you thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next one thank you and bye bye